Hi, I'm Rick. Welcome to my journey, and this week we are doing Granada. What, you don't know Granada, the whole battle for Spain between the Muslims and the Christians, the thing that actually defined what this country is? Okay, in this week's episode, I'm gonna tell you exactly what Granada is. Well, like it is today. I'm not gonna do too much history because, you know, frankly, you can look that up on Wikipedia. But I can tell you, I have been here less than 48 hours and I'm absolutely in love with this city and I can't wait to show you. Anyway, onward to Granada. Okay, this is a trip. I was supposed to be walking around today just kind of shooting footage on this really busy street. This guy, you'll see him in a second. He grabs me, he talks me into going into his tea house, then he talks me into making a YouTube video. He's a really sweet guy and really nice people. I met his boss. He's really nice too. It's very crowded here. You got to see the shenanigans that went on today. I have to explain, whoa, I have to explain what you're seeing besides me falling down. There's this guy, I'm gonna find out what his name for you. He found that I was a YouTuber and he wants me to make videos of his shop. I'm gonna go find out what his name is. What was your name? Reda, Reda, Reda. So you can, you can show it. You can. Sí, the perks of being a YouTuber is we get free swag. Magnets. Yes. <laughs> and this is the best tea you'll ever have in your life. Ever. I yeah. like And that. we're not saying that because we got free tea. Mm -mm. It really was pretty good. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> no, you can put it with that, with that. Oh, one minute, one minute. Uh, with you, one minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> smell, I smell. Smell. See. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Ruby de Granada. <laughs> Very nice. So that was one of the more surreal experiences I've ever had. I just committed to making a 30 second some kind of advertising video for them and turning it over in two weeks unpaid well i got paid in tea but still he's a really cool guy and for the rest of you if you're ever here in granada go visit them they're very friendly they give away lots of food hey you want to know the cool part about inner city living in granada they plant trees next to all the roadways do you see anything special about that tree they're all filled with oranges free oranges everywhere Okay, let's get into it. What is Granada? Where is Granada? And why should you care? Well, that is Granada. It is a major city down at the bottom of Spain in Andalusia. Now, way, way, way back in the day, this entire peninsula, which includes Portugal and Spain, was under Moorish rule, Muslim rule. It was the Northern Africans came up and conquered and took over all this for, I think, like 700 years. And then the Christians from the north pushed back down the Reconquista, and they took back all of Spain and the very last battleground was here in Granada. That's the Alhambra behind me. That's the last holdout, the last standpoint of the Muslims before they lost the rule and it's been under a Catholic rule ever since with the king and queen. You know what I mean. So as near as we can figure out, they just closed down a whole bunch of streets here and everyone comes out and parties, runs around screaming and acting like, well, they're having fun. I think either that or a king or a queen is gonna come by Somebody just asked me. I wouldn't sure, so I guess we'll all find out together. That explains it. Marathon. They're running a marathon here. Two people. One guy won. <laughs> but I see the other ones. There's. there's other Well, great, Rick. Thanks for the history lesson. You're probably saying, what is Granada like now? Well, it's a lot like Spain. 
It's also a not lot like Spain. When you drive around the highways, you will see the signs in Spanish and in Arabic. It is very much a blended area down here. So yeah, the Moors may have lost, but and Minoese, they're still around. Now, if you go back into the other part of Granada, over where the cathedral is, it's going to look very European. There's going to be lots and lots of alleyways, lots and lots of little shops, lots of like H&M and European kind of places, but also lots of mom and pop shops and a ton of cafes, lots of outdoor seating and eating. And then you can go down streets like this, which is right outside the Alhambra, and you'll swear to God you're in Morocco because all of the stalls, all of the restaurants, everything is Arabic. you clicked on the title of this video, there's a damn good chance that you care about Granada. Either because you want to come here, learn about it, or you've been here before and you want to see what's changed well, I can't help you too much. And yep, I know you want to know all the fun things to do, all the places to go, all the food to eat, how to catch your breath walking up and down the hills because I am lost. I've spent the past 45 minutes trying to get Google Maps to find me somewhere. There's, there's a big cathedral that I'm walking by. Maybe this will help me find my way. Well, sadly, I'm not going to be much help to you. Not quite yet. I've only been here two days. I don't know where all the great day trips are. I don't know where all the great restaurants are. No, I can tell you to eat here. Beyond anything else, come here, eat here. Little Mafia Italian place. The prices are really good. The food is incredible. Get the loin. It is this Iberico steak with potatoes. And it is. Trust me. Come here. Get the loin. You'll thank me later. I can tell you that in two days, I'm going to be doing this excursion that you're not going to believe. As far as everything else you might be interested in, there are just a ton of restaurants. Any kind of food you want, you're going to find it. Indoors and out. Sit yourself outside, grab a cerveza, and you will enjoy yourself immensely. The major tourist things to do are the Alhambra that you saw before. I didn't go through it. Not yet. It's 10 euros per person, I think, and you got to make reservations early and get ready to have a big, long walk. This is the big palace. There's actually multiple palaces in there and lots of gardens. It's really beautiful, and I really hope to be able to take you there. Other things down here, you've got the cathedral, and after that, I honestly don't know. I really don't know. I am still exploring it. I'm going to go back, cut this, let you see what we got so far. And then uh, together, we will find out what the rest of this place has. But I guarantee you, there's going to be a lot. Okay, that just barely scratched the surface of Granada. And like I say, I truly love this city. And I've only got, well, about a week and a half left. I can't do as many videos as I want, but I'm gonna try to eke out a few more, including <laughs> that hike that I mentioned. And I'm about to do that in two days. Hopefully I'll make it to make a few more videos. And with that, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon from Granada. <laughs>